Hi everyone. I really appreciate all of your support over the last few days. I've gotten so many messages that have been so kind about the presentation with the Alliance for Early Childhood. And I've also had a lot of people asking me how it's possible that you can organize that many virtual backgrounds and how is it possible that you can still see your client while you're doing these types of activities. So I am doing a screen recording right now so that I can show you all exactly how I access all my virtual backgrounds and still see my client. So right now on Zoom, I'm on the speaker view setting, but what I'm going to do is go to gallery view and we've got my client here, um, the RAM. And so I can see my client on the left side of my screen. And then what I do is I go to my choose virtual background here over in the bottom left hand corner. And the entire session with my client, this is how I view myself. My client can't see this virtual background page, but I can. So I have this pulled up and this little box is what I can see of myself. Unfortunately, there is no way to make this box smaller or bigger. This is the setting set by Zoom and there are no modifications to this box. But luckily, I can still easily see my client on the left hand side and see myself on the right hand side. And so what I do is I have this virtual background page pulled up. And as you can see, I'm scrolling through virtual backgrounds right now. And this is how I keep them organized. So if I'm working on consonant vowel consonant words, I can pull I can easily see that this is a grouping of backgrounds here and I'll pull up this activity. And we could go through map, what is it? Map and just working through those backgrounds and then I can scroll up and see I have my sentences, I can see I have my bubbles, I can see I have baby shark and different books and I have just a myriad of backgrounds saved like this and I can usually find what I'm looking for quite easily and I do go through and make sure that they're organized pretty regularly. And sometimes when you have a single background picture, like for instance this cat, this is just one virtual background but I upload it multiple times, the same picture, so that way when I am scrolling and as I've added more, I can easily find this single background and not be searching for one singular picture of the cat amidst all the other pictures. So that's how I conduct my sessions. But I also wanna make sure that I share this as well, which is my desktop on my computer. I also have a little green screen folder here and in my green screen folder are number of virtual backgrounds or themed backgrounds shared and saved in these folders. And that way, if for whatever reason, my Zoom backgrounds one day just disappear, I don't know why they would, that has not happened to me yet, but I keep them on a local file on my computer that I can easily access if that were to happen. And it helps me keep organized on what materials I have so far and which ones I want to keep um, just for, you know, in the future if I ever want to use these backgrounds in real life or want to print them out. So I hope that this was useful for you all. And if you have any other questions about how I'm doing this, please just send me a direct message and I will help answer your questions. I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.